This video demonstrates using a SerialIO.com Bluetooth laser barcode scanner with Grid in Hand mobile grid feature on a Symbian E72 to capture barcode data and send it immediately via the internet. Mobile grid feature can be used with the ScanFob 2002, KDC200i 1D scanner, and KDC300i 2D scanners, as well as other Bluetooth scanners. Go to the Applications and launch Serial Magic Professional. Go to the Actions view and confirm post data is set to Mobile Grid or Grid in Hand, depending on the version. Confirm that Show Grid on Start is set to Yes. From the Options menu, select Edit Action Profiles and select the desired Serial Magic Action Profile from the list. The Action Profile specifies the behavior when each barcode is scanned. The profile can contain many options including prompting for specific information and optional rules based on patterns of the barcode and RFID data. In this example, we'll use the Grid Scan Date Time Profile. If the desired profile is not selected, highlight the profile and use the menu Set Active. Now go to the Connections view, set Device Type to ScanFob 2002, and set Choose New Device to Yes. Turn on the ScanFob scanner, Bluetooth radio, by scanning the Make Discoverable and Connectable barcode, or holding the function key down for about 5 seconds until the scanner beeps to indicate the radio is on. Use the start control. If the scan fob has been previously connected with the Symbian phone, it should show up on the list. If not, use more devices option to search for it. Once it is found, you can use the stop menu option and then select the scanner. When Serial Magic connects with the scan fob, it will beep. The mobile grid should then be displayed. Now scan the barcodes you want to collect and they will be entered into the grid. The date and time stamp will be entered into the second column. You can even set Mobile Grid to prompt for an item quantity after a barcode scan. After you have scanned the desired barcodes, simply use the Options menu and choose Upload. Your scanned data will then be sent to the iScanList.com server and the data will be delivered according to the iScanList.com account settings. For more information, visit SerialIO.com. Thanks for watching.